all right so so when I now I've got all my setup up, up now and I'm working off the four hour time frame and the first thing I'm going to be looking for is let's say like a buy signal now a buy signal is when the AC shows a green bar above the zero zero line the next thing I'm looking for is to have this line here this candle to actually set, say the same color so here it is it's the same color so that's great so on the next bar I'm going to go in and I'm going to go in long all right and long means buy okay now if I just get my screen draw pen out for a moment and just just show you um, how it is that we go about doing that let's see if I can minimize that Okay, so we got in um, on this bar here, and we go long on this candle right there. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to get our support and resistance lines out to find and work out where our target's going to be. All right, so we take a look. This is the resistance level. Okay, and this is an area in the market where the market has turned around and says, hey, we don't want to go up any higher than this. We prefer the prices to come down. All right, and as it's come down, the bears have come in, you know, and says, no, we don't want you to go any lower, you know, go up higher kind of thing. All right, so eventually the market's gone up higher, and now it's respected the previous resistance area. All right, and then the market suddenly dropped. Okay, now when the market drops at this particular area, you can then do like a 61.8 percent more to down around about here on a FIBO extension we'll get into FIBO extensions a little bit later all right but here we can see that our target did actually get hit all right so let's take that screen draw pen off so my target for my TP is going to be around about there I wouldn't put it right at the top of the wick the best um, places to put your TPs or your projected um, take profit targets will be to really just get it above the body all right now the body if you don't know what a body looks like on a candle here is the the, the what's been filled in is the body all right and what, when you see a little line at the top and sometimes you see a little line at the bottom of those are referred to as wicks okay so you really want to get it just to the top of the body all right and you'll have more success um, hitting your take profit targets um, when you do it like that. So let's take a look at the pip gain that we could have possibly gained from this. So we've been on this bar here and we could, would have got out for 218 pips um, in 13 times 4 which is 40 in 52 hours. Alright so 52 hours is basically two and a half days. Alright that is how long I typically have a trade open for. Alright if you were to trade smaller time frames or smaller um, bursts, like for like leaving your trade open for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or whatever, that's all fair and well. But you might get yourself burnt out. Now, the purpose of you joining the um, Forex Boss training course is so that you can learn the right way and not start um, developing habits in an early session. All right. So if you do it my way and actually spend two to three days just learning this particular strategy before you move on to the next indicator you would do a lot better than you would if you went back to like the 15 minute or the 30 minute time frame and work off just solely off of those time frames and no other time frames all right you would do a lot worse that way so so if you the best bet would just be to work off the four hour time frames in in most part I would probably say the four hour and the daily time frames will be the best time frames throughout this whole entire course all right, but um, that's just me to try and put the safety element out there for you. All right, um, but you should be doing okay um, when you get into the the next uh, modules ahead. All right, so all right, so let's see if we can find out some more areas in the market as well um, for a sell signal. All right, so here is a sell um, section right here. And we look right at the top and we can see now that this bar is green. All right. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We don't know if it's going to drop. We don't know if it's going to go up higher. All right. We're just basing these signals through patterns that emerge all the time. All right. It's, it's why I love the Forex. There's so many phenomenons that appear out of the blue that you can profit from. So we would ignore that regardless if it comes down or not. All right. Here is another um, 
a green bar right here and here we can see there's another green candle gray that is um, you know like element of number one of the signal now we need to look for the second part of the signal and that is is the signal right in the path of a resistance area now you may recall me saying that this section here was the resistance oops let's get a different color pen out you may um, heard me saying that this line that I drew before was the resistance and this one was the support well when the currency prices start to move under the support this then turns into a resistance all right and then the next line below it turns into a support all right and you can see where the markets bounced off but when we was looking at this particular signal the signal was right on a resistance level so we would ignore that particular trade alright so if you actually went long on this trade and the market started to come back down and you started to make a loss and you couldn't understand why the poss possible reason is is that you didn't take into account the support and resistance levels that we drew in previously alright I hope that makes sense okay let's, let's come down off of that all right. Okay. Let's take a look at some other instances, shall we? Um, here is a sell signal opportunity right here. We can see the red bar below the zero zero line, and then the next thing we need to look at is the candle red. Yes, it is. All right. So this, what's the next thing that we should look at? Well, the next thing we should look at is there an immediate support to prevent this trade from going down any lower? Let's take a look. Well, no, there's quite a big distance from here down to here to the next support. So, okay, we can go ahead and take this trade on. So, we get in on the new bar, get in right here, and we take it down to, um, to our support level. Now, if you take a look at our support level, it's sitting right on the bottom of a wick. Now, I normally tend to put my support levels on the top and bottoms of wicks, but I normally tend to put my take profit targets just to the top of the body if it's a long trade or just to the bottom of the body if it's a short trade all right so I'm going to move this up a little bit to kind of give a mean average of some bodies right there okay that's what I would basically do all right now let's take a look at where we would have got in on would have been um, uh, let's take a look on this bar here so we would have got in there and we would have hit our TP um, in 44 hours for 254 pips. Now let's take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. All right, from here to there, we would have made 216 pips in like 52 hours, and then there was a gap from where we closed out, which was up here. Then there was a gap from there all the way to here. 25 times 4 so that's a hundred hours so in four days or so okay four and a half days we had to wait for another signal now you might think well four and a half days is a very long time to wait but let me see if I can put it in a in in some sense that you would probably appreciate money if we were to do this at one dollars per pip and I'm not going to say $10 per pip because I don't want you to get overexcited and that you're going to start making foolish trades because you can make so much money in a short period of time. Let's just do this log um, realistically. All right, $1, $1 a pip, a $10,000 account, all right, a 100 to 1 leverage. Your risking is a little bit more than what you should really, really, really be risking on like a one lot. So you, sh you should bring it down to one, um, 0 0.1 lot. All right, and that would, rather than you being charged $1,229 or whatever, you're going to be charged um, a lot less than that. It's going to be um, actually 10%. So you're going to be charged around about 100 odd bucks. So you're only going to be risking um, $100, -odd, which would be about 1.2%, which is perfect. All right, you don't want to have a trade that costs like $5,000 to open up and your um, balance is only 10 grand. That's using 50%. All right. Even though if your equity only shows that um, your pip spread is the only difference between your real real balance, all right. Um, so that's the way I look at it. If if you're if you're um, you know you're trading too high volume, then you need to come down and make sure that you're only trading small volumes. Now this look work this out on one dollar per pip. As this went up, it was two hundred and sixteen dollars. Right. Okay. This happened in about 
um, two days, but that's 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 really not a problem. All right. And then we waited four days to get another signal to come in. All right. And we got a signal right here, and we took it down to here for like another 265 pips. All right. So over a period of one week, we made about five hundred dollars. All right. Now that's pretty good money, no matter how anyone looks at it. All right. That's that will probably cover most people's rent in Vegas, all right? Because it's pretty cheap over here for the rent. All right, but then let's move on. All right, we're into our second week. So we're going on and we, we see another signal that comes here and we go, right, okay, the next one is a green candle. Great, that's what we're looking for. The next thing we're looking for is this um, signal right in the path of a resistance line. No, it's not. So great, we can go long on this. All right, so we go long on the next bar and we take it up to our previous resistance lines all right and here it is there for 327 pips all right and that got hit in 13 times 4 hours in 52 hours so in two and a half days after waiting four days we got another 320 bucks all right let's look for another signal as we go along we're looking for a red bar to fall under here is a green bar. Okay, we can't do that. Now look at this. Uh, it's a green bar, so we didn't do it, and it went back up the other way. So it's great. We, we made the right choice of by staying out. Here is another um, red bar, but it, it actually hovers over a um, green bar. So that's a no trade. We keep moving on. We keep moving on. And here is one right here. We go above it, and it's a red bar. It's a different color, so we ignore it. We keep going, and we keep going, and we see a red bar right here. Now this is um, going to be a bit tricky, ladies and gents. All right. So when you get into this one right here, this is a red bar, and it follows what we're looking for. But also, if there's a bit of support here, all right, and you can see like where the market has tried to penetrate through, but then the red candle came back down and pushed it a little bit lower, and then the balls came back in and pushed it above the um, minor resistance there and then it tried to attempt to go towards the next resistance and then it failed but where we see that signal where we would have actually got in would have been um, right here on the on the open bar and down to that particular support line is actually 42 pips now you need to say to yourself is this enough for you to walk away from in profit or do you really want to risk gaining 40 pips for a possible turnaround where it could go back the other way now if you take a look at where some of these signals appeared there was a huge gap like if you take a look at these grids here there's like one two three four well three and a half grids there of no like there's no traffic in between there's nothing to stop it from coming down but if you take a look over here where we would have got in on this trade we want to look and see how much traffic's gone behind it. All right, and there's quite a lot of congestion in there. So for me personally, there's too much of a risk. All right, I want to get into something where I have a nice signal here, where if we move on a little bit further, all right, we can see um, another red signal here, like for a sell signal. It goes over a red candle, but it's right on that support line. So we don't want to risk that. Okay, so now we go for, look for a buy trade. Here is a little um, green candle, uh, sorry, a green bar above the zero zero line. Place our um, a cursor over it. It's actually on a green candle. Then we can go long. We can target this area as our take profit. All right, what's and then we can get like 94 pips there. So out of a period of one month, we have gained around about 600 to 750 dollars just trading at one dollar per pip. All right. Now, if you did that at ten dollars per pip, which I wouldn't recommend, that would have, you know, worked out to run about seven thousand dollars. All right. So it would have made seventy percent in one month. All right. And it's you got to be very sure that you don't get too greedy and get too over emotional when you see figures like that, and still, you know, uh, come back and get your calm, and then go on uh, and resume on from where you left off. All right. So that's basically how you go ahead and um, do the trades for the seller oscillator my way. All right, and it's how I filter out losses. All right, and when we get into the um, later modules, you're going to see some live trades. Now, if there's some skepticism out there, we're saying, well, hey, Loz, it's all fair and well you're showing us these strategies um, and what have you. But look, the market's not open right now. It's dead, and you're not showing us any live trades. 
So how do I know that this really works? Well, one way is for you to actually go ahead and perform it. And the second way is to actually watch me over my shoulder as I show you in module six, live trades. Okay. And every single indicator that I actually show you here, and if I have a strategy for it, I'm going to perform a live trade on it. All right. So I hope you're going to get look forward to that kind of section in the, in the near future. So until then, I know this is a long video. So what I'm going to do is cut this video into two. All right. And then um, I will see you very soon in the next video. All right. Bye for now.